Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So some of you may have heard, some of you may not have heard. This is just a quick update video to let you know. Uh, there's a lot of development going on behind the scenes with Nina. And one thing you want to keep track of is the plugins that are available. Uh, not only updates for existing plugins, uh, but new plugins that come along. So there is a new plugin available right now, um, 3D Scope View. And this allows you to see the current orientation of your telescope inside Nina, uh, where it's pointed. So let's go over to Nina and just have a quick look. Okay, so I have the latest Nina uh, nightly build running and if you go to plugins here uh, you'll see a bunch of plugins that are available uh, these are the ones that I have installed here but these are the plugins that are available and you can install any of these plugins uh, ground station as example has an update for it right now so we can click update and uh, just update that plugin if you're using ground station you have to restart Nina uh, I'm going to just show you the scope 3d view though the uh, 3d scope view and um, this plug in here you just go over and you click install and then it requires a restart so let's uh, shut down nina and we'll restart it and once it gets loaded up here i'll be able to show you the uh, plug in i'll just load this profile okay so i'm going to just uh, click on the telescope menu uh, so that i can uh, connect the mount and the mount is now connected, indicates that here. So now if we go back to uh, plugins, we can see the uh, scope 3D view is installed. I call it uh, 3D scope view, but uh, same thing. And uh, it's ready to go. So if you wanna access it, you can go over to the imaging uh, window here and uh, you'll find at the top, you'll find 3D scope view, uh, the little 3D uh, menu button here. If you click that, It'll enable it down here. You'll see it pop up here. So make sure that if you don't see it down here, just click on the uh, 3D uh, menu tab there at the top. And then you can click on the 3D view window. And you can, if you right click your mouse and hold it and drag it around, uh, you can uh, change the, uh, the position of how you're looking at the uh, telescope uh, to see the uh, orientation of it. So. Um, and then basically that would uh, update for you as uh, as you uh, move the telescope around and, and so forth. So it just gives you a nice little view of uh, how things are orient. Uh, the, it gives you a nice little view on the orientation of things. This is something that Green Swamp Server has as well. Um, and I'm using Green Swamp Server um, so I can, you know, uh, look at it in the same manner as uh, Green Swamp Server. Uh, the only difference is, and I'm not sure if that is available or not, but I don't see an option for it, is the uh, direction symbols, so the north, south, east, west. Um, I don't see that in this plugin here. Uh, might be a nice feature to add in just so that you're you know, aware of which direction the scope is pointed. Uh, makes it a little easier to, uh, to understand, but uh, nice, nice addition to Nina. One thing that I should note is if you go back to the plugins uh, menu under the uh, 3D scope view, you'll find that you can enable the color based on the, uh, the theme that you're using. If you turn that off and we go back, uh, it's just default um, red. But uh, if you uh, enable that, then it takes on the uh, color of the theme that you're using. So in my case, I'm using a a dark blue so that's what the uh, the telescope looks like and of course you can also change the default scope so you can change it to a reflector a refractor a schmidt cassegrain richie Kretchen, etc uh, even a truss uh, design so um, i'll just switch it to a refractor because that's what i'm using and if i go back you'll see that it now shows as a refractor telescope okay so that's it for this video. Thanks very much for tuning in. I think this will be a nice, uh, useful plugin, but don't forget to check those plugin updates. Uh, check to see what's new. Uh, there's always uh, constant uh, updates going on for Nina. Uh, developments in that and the plugin category is an important part of it. So it gives you more functionality, new functionality. So check those plugins regularly to see what's, uh, what's available and what needs to be updated.